Hello, hello to everyone in the world, to everyone in the universe. I'm sending love, I'm sending blessing. I wanted to make a video about a topic that not many people want to talk about, but it's still important that we address these topics so we can just deal with it. And today's topic is about how to not die. And the reason I feel like I can't talk on this topic is because I not only feel like I almost died a million times, but I feel like if I just uh, do certain things, I would just die because we are fragile human beings. And so there is ways to prevent death and we do need to discuss those things so we can remind ourselves that there is a way to actually extend our life and feel good and not feel like we're about to die status. And I just want to say I'm sorry to everyone out there that has pain. I'm sorry to everyone out there that's suffering who's on the edge. Hopefully I can somehow pull you back, pull you back. Please let me pull you back from the edge. Take a breath. Whew. It's hard right now, guys. It's hard. So that's, that's why I have to pump out these videos so someone can see these videos and hopefully get a message that helps them. So first of all, let's go into a big way people die. It's because they are dehydrated. All right. And uh, dehydration is a huge reason. Uh, about 50% of the reason why people die out there is because of dehydration. So make sure you're driving, uh, drinking really clean water. You don't want to just be drinking any water. Clean water with minerals you need like magnesium, potassium, and calcium at least. Okay, guys, sorry I look so tired. Oh my god, see? Look, I look like I'm freaking about to die here. Stats! Oh my god, my hair. Okay, okay, so drink water. Okay, guys, obviously there's deficiencies out there and people can die from vitamin deficiencies. So make sure you're taking your vitamins, get your B vitamins, get your A, get your C, um, and get your B12 and all that. Look into vitamins, make sure you're getting all your vitamins. I will be making a video on exactly what vitamins you need because in this day and age, no matter what diet you're on, whether it's carnivore or vegan or keto, uh, most people are missing key nutrients. So we might all have to do supplementation at this point, like they're doing with NASA. There's all the stuff uh, like they're doing because in space, people die quicker. And so that reminds me of another thing you can do to not die is the red light therapy. Infrared, they're doing it in space because it helps your mitochondria. And your mitochondria is like, you know, the ATP, the energy of your cells. If you don't have energy, you die. If your heart doesn't have uh, energy, it stops. All right, guys. So to save your heart, to save your brain and your eyes, which has a lot of mitochondria, the most in your whole body, is um, in the eyes, in the brain, and in your heart, um, you need red light therapy. And you can also get it from the sun, the infrared light, but then obviously there's the UV rays that are bad, and there is the um, all the bad stuff out there. So just the, the pure sun, the pure heat, the infrared is not dangerous. You can use it all day, and it will prevent you from dying. Ugh. You don't want that, guys, okay? And then, um, all right, guys, another way to not die is to stay clean, uh, wash your hands, wash your body with antibacterial, not necessarily antibacterial, but just some good soap from back in the 1900s um, because that's how they prevented a lot of disease out back then. And they got a lot of people to not die because of soap. So just remember, guys, stay clean, clean your... Swamp ass is real. Don't let swamp ass take you over, guys. It takes over. I should make a whole video about swamp ass. I'm not cussing, I swear. All right, okay, guys. Another way to not die is to pay attention. Like when you're driving or when you're walking or when you're stepping, always pay attention. Always be looking around. Don't be on your phone um, because a lot of people die because of accidents. And accidents can be prevented. So go ahead and be present, be in the moment, and prevent accidents so you don't have to die and other people don't have to die as, you know, quicker than they really should. All right. So, um, so we got diet. We got water. We got cleanliness. Um, we got paying attention. Okay. So we got four ways right now to not die. Okay. Let's go into, we did talk about diet a little bit, but guys, sugar, sugar kills. Okay. Uh, alcohol kills. Okay. Drugs kill. I personally am a proponent of cannabis and uh, psychedelic mushrooms. I don't think they can kill um, in small amounts, but drugs out there, like all those bad things, if you guys do drugs, meth and all that crap, fentanyl, 
then um, you increase your chances of dying. And if you're taking random pills, uh, dude, they're cutting fentanyl. China, China is got is is cutting fentanyl um, and all this stuff. Let's call up something else because they're gonna probably pull this off. Because I'm talking about controversial shit. All right, guys, let's talk about something else real. All right, this. Cell phone, scrolling with your cell phone, radiation. All right, I'm gonna make a whole video on radiation, guys, because what if your diet's perfect, you have everything, you're doing everything perfect, you got your water, yet you're still gonna get cancer or whatever? What if it's the cell phones? What if it's the Wi Fi boxes? So, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be someone that's gonna say, let's talk about it, let's figure it out, because uh, iPhones have like four times as much radiation as Samsung. So iPhone users, guys, come on. All right, and those ear pod things in your ears, they got an, as, as much Wi-Fi signal as a freaking Wi-Fi box, as much radiation as a Wi-Fi box. And then we wonder why we have issues. All right, guys, come on. It makes sense. Like, have common sense about um, health, okay? Um, all right, well, obviously sleep, because if you don't sleep, you're probably gonna die quicker. Apparently, if you don't sleep, you die like 12 years quicker. So that sucks because I don't sleep. So that's why I think I'm always kind of feel like I'm half dying because I'm so freaking dead. And the pain, I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. The pain. Okay, so another thing that uh, will, you know, cause you to uh, die quicker is stress and like your mental attitude. Um, if you're depressed, you, if you want to die, if you keep telling your body you want to die, then like your body's going to get that signal that it wants to die. Okay. So you have to really speak uh, positive over yourself. Tell yourself that your genetics are healed, that you are powerful and that you can do anything. You have to speak positivity over yourself when you're feeling like death is upon you or death is near you. And just so you guys know, if you do feel like some death is around you, just also push it away. Be like, all right, guys, if there's some signal right now telling me about dying um, and death and you're thinking about it a lot, push it away. Push those thoughts away and just be like, life, 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 okay? And so you have to do what you have to do to um, just break free from that continuous chatter in your mind that brings you back to, oh, they don't care about me and what's the point of living? No one's going to care anyways. And guys, that depression thing, you need to get away from that. And then obviously everyone has PTSD. And so what's happening is we're making um, bad decisions in moments where we should be making good decisions. So just um, being calm and making decisions with strategy can help prevent you from having stress and um, prevent you from dying. All right, so those are just a few ways. And then, you know, guys, just have fun. Just have fun and laugh, like laugh. Apparently there's these killer cells when you're laughing like ha 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 just force yourself to laugh and then uh, the killer cells just go <laughs> and kill the bad stuff inside your body so definitely like maybe watch a funny movie um and just enjoy life guys don't think too much about the future too much about the past it's just it's daunting like it's literally daunting to think about what the hell is going on and also guys just connect with each other um, just have each other because we can also help prevent things in each other's lives if we're looking into each other's lives. Um, hugs, hugs, get more hugs, um, get more physical attention, uh, respect people, and just do the right thing, guys, and have passion in your life so you don't feel like death is upon you. And um, there's technology out there, guys. They've even cured, cured, uh, cured death. CNN was saying there's a cure for death. Um, so, yeah. I mean, if you can just get through the next few months, probably we're going to be able to live forever, you know? So don't let the thought of death or dying plague you. Don't let the fear factor plague you. Just appreciate the moment of life right now, guys, and just tell your body that you want your body to be healthy, you want your body to be feeling amazing, your cells and all that stuff. And it really makes a difference, guys. So don't be speaking crap over your body. Don't be speaking bad stuff over your body, hatred and all that and saying ugly stuff about your body. Um, you need to show yourself love, guys. Show yourself love so that way you don't feel like, you feel like light. You have life and love and light on this side. It's not like death and, ugh, and ugly and darkness on this side. Expose everything to the light so you can take care of it and deal with your business. Deal with that darkness. 
If you're a horrible person and you want to die because you're a horrible person, then you need to go make up and do stuff that's going to make up and, and go say sorry or go mend those relationships. Do something to not be a horrible person anymore. I know it's hard. People are mean out there, guys. But just let kindness be there in that situation when people need to get pulled back, guys. If you see someone disgruntled and they're like, they could be on the edge of death, guys. They could be like, oh my God. And then just, just, just say something nice. To say something kind, you can save people. This is my message right now, guys. We can save each other from death if we are just kind to each other and we're just nice to each other. And we just like, we just think like maybe someone's been through stuff. They have PTSD, they have depression. They're like, don't say something mean. Don't be snarky. You don't have to be funny. It's not funny to like hurt people, guys. Just like be nice, be gentle, be kind, be nurturing, guys, please. We need each other and that's how we survive and uh, start procreating and start having kids so we can um, survive this earth and teach them how to survive. Teach your kids to um, do the right thing. Teach them how to eat like good food and throw away all the candy, throw away everything that's taking away um, your guys' chance at a future life. Just do it exercise, go out in the sun, do everything right, do everything you can to not die because your life is supposed to be long and beautiful and you one day you'll you'll be able to deal with passing along because you got to live such an amazing long life. So just pull through these next few months that are hard because all of us are having a hard time. So let's just band together. Let's hug each other. Let's hold each other, guys. I'm holding you right now. Let's hold each other during the storm because that's all we can do is hold each other so we can just stay on the ground and we can stay grounded and just be balanced, guys. Don't be extreme. Be balanced in your life. Blessings and don't worry guys, everything's gonna be okay. If you wanna live, you can live. If you wanna die, you can die. It is up to you, it is your choice. But choose life because all of us need you to live. All of us need you to be there and encourage us. Please guys, if you have anything encouraging to say, leave it in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this whole video. And I just had so much in my heart that I wanna dedicate my life to just spreading a message of positivity and talking to you guys and having relationships and, and that's all I want is to be with everyone, to feel like we're together, you guys. And I'm trying to look you right in the eye and I'm trying to look you right in the heart. And I just want to feel you right now. Feel me right now. Feel my love right now, guys. I love the whole world. I love everyone. Blessings. I'm sorry you're going through stuff. It's so hard. I know it's so hard. And um, I just hope you can get through this so you can inspire other people to do the same. Bless you guys. Come back for more inspiring videos soon. Peace.